I'm out here at the till. Uh, I've never been here before. The roost at the till is kind of like a deli part. The till is a big restaurant. It's got a big, big, nice bar in the middle, which we'll see in a second. And then on the very end there is the event center. It's going to be uh, a couple of different options on how they expand it. In between the event center and the bar is a very nice uh, outdoor patio with cool seating. So, Thank you. you're welcome. We'll go in and check it out. Obviously, big wood fired oven, bakery. Good. I'm videoing the place. Show everyone how cool you are. That's the gelato, bakery, dessert, all of that. So I'm probably going too fast. Kind of hip and cool. Reminds me of some of what we did in my house, but obviously a little more rustic. We got this pizza there, sushi there. Regular area, kind of here for sandwiches and pastas and that sort of thing. Yeah, and the I bar. Like, I would say. This is the cool outdoor seating area. I'm a fan of that large fireplace and heaters. And then an event area that can open up onto the other side, which is where we happen to be today. Right here. Get the fireplace going and... Obviously some very nice views. Let's see if we can get that to happen. Well, there you go. I'll uh, let you know how it is after we have a little food. So just got done uh, eating it till now. This was for an event. So we're in the event center and everything was served family style. So it's a little bit different. Um, I had chicken and trout uh, for the main course, a beet salad and a kale salad um, for our appetizers with um, three different choices of bread. Uh, baked here in house, really good, really great uh, bread. Uh, the salad, kale salad was a little salty. Beet salad I thought was absolutely awesome. Um, that was probably one of my uh, highlights. Really liked it a lot. Uh, yeah, the kale, a little salty, a little, little probably too garlicky for my taste, and I'm a garlic guy, so that's probably saying something. Um, chicken and trout, really, really good. Uh, cookies for dessert, chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate chip, and snicker noodle. I had a couple of them. They were good. Um, I think they probably had some cardamom in the chocolate. I don't know, a little, little spice. I'm going with cardamom. Uh, tasty, tasty, tasty. So all the baked goods, baked goods were really good. Uh, had broccoli rob for the for the vegetable. Um, it was good, perfectly cooked. I will say, I think they uh, they had it probably cooked right after uh, meat. Uh, I think it had a little meat smoke on it, which. Uh, didn't quite fit in my opinion. Still good, uh, well done, but uh, could have probably been just a tiny bit better. And then the side was, uh, was potatoes and they were awesome. I think they probably boiled them, crushed them up, rolled them in a light flour and then deep fried them. So give them a nice crunch. Super good. I think they called them the miners potatoes. So yeah, overall, great place. Get out here and give it a try. If you're like me and you live on the old west side, this is a bit of a trek, but I would say it's worth the drive. Um, and they have a lot of options on the menu. Um, again, I didn't get to try some of that stuff with this whole event setup, but really, really good menu. So um, get out here and try the till. Bye-bye. Uh,